Okay, election's almost over. Almost hey, over, it's look, just starting. Look at that, frack Jeez. off. Frack on, frack off, <laughs> frack on. My God, make up your mind. So uh, you are... We're, we're the only people that have made up our mind on that. <laughs> you are? Madeline Bear votes, Fredrickson Door. And you're running for? For the MLA. MLA to be the Green for the Green Party, the yeah, Green Party. The green party yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I made a prediction. I said David Kuhn, and uh, maybe you'll be the second one. Hey, yeah, I you, hope so. You'll prove the blogger wrong. <laughs> Listen, I was upset. I see Steve Horseman today at the farmers market, and uh, I was. I always said if you if you want to be a politician, you have to debate. And I don't know why these candidates, especially liberals and even PC, they don't want to debate. So you had a debate this afternoon. This morning? We had a debate last week. Um, we had a debate at the St. Anthony's Church, the only debate for the North Side, the yeah, only that. public debate for the North Side, and yeah. you know, you covered that. The Conservatives and the Liberals decided, one of them decided that they didn't want to show up, and then the other one said, well, well, if he's not going, I'm not going. Same thing almost happened in the South Side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, one but showed up at the last second, up. at the last second, yeah. Yeah. I'm, sur I'm surprised they're even considering not showing up. But anyway, that's another story. Yeah. So you had a school school debate? So we had a school debate. We had a debate at the um, Leo Hayes. When? Last week, a couple days ago, maybe. Okay, got it. Um, and everybody showed up there. So everybody. it was 12 kids in the class, maybe a couple more, a couple less. 12 kids. 12 kids, one so teacher. Um, nobody could vote. Well, the teacher could vote, but nobody could vote there. So it was very, very interesting to see them show up to that. So 38 people less than the other one. The other one was 50. Yep. And, and none of them are voters. None of them are voters, and they all showed up. And they all showed up. Why? I'm assuming because it was a school that called, and it looks would look bad to say no. But I guess it does not look bad to not show up for the public. Did any kids come uh, ask a question why they didn't show up in the other one? No. They wouldn't know. Well, I, I sort of started off by saying, you know, we're, we're four days away from the election here, and this is the first time that I've been sitting with all candidates here because we had a debate last week, and they decided not to show up. So I think it speaks, it speaks loud about what's happening with democracy in New Brunswick, that the Liberals and the Conservatives, the two ruling parties in New Brunswick, don't want to be debating, don't want to have conversations, don't want the public to ask questions. You know, they, they say that they prefer one-on-one, -on -one, but the one-on-one -on -one is at the door really quick when they can... You know, maybe they ask a question and they quickly go, okay, I've got to go, I don't want to answer that, or we don't have time to talk about that when they move on, instead of really answering people's questions. I mean, the great thing about a debate is that people don't have the time. People don't have the time to talk one-on-one -on -one with their candidates. They want to come to an all-candidates meeting, and they don't know all the questions. So if they can come to an all-candidates meeting, an all-candidates debate, where everybody's asking the same questions, everybody's giving answers, then they can spend one evening, listen to all the candidates in their riding, listen to all of those questions that are being asked, and get a full hour and a half, two hours with them, and get some real answers. You've got 20 seconds. What yeah. do you think on New Brunswick politics so far? What do I think? Uh, <laughs> I think it's very interesting. I think, um, I think we have the opportunity here to make a lot, to make a big difference in New Brunswick politics. I think that it's... Um, it hasn't been going down the right path lately. I think that with um, with what's happening with the Liberals and Conservatives, where they're sort of just, you know, brushing off the people, just even during election time, I mean, that they're not showing up at debates. Um, yeah. They're not doing any real public consultation once they're in office. They're not listening to the people. There's all these protests, and instead of getting down and listening to people, listening to First Nations, they're, they're just walking away, going back up in their office and making decisions. Just for the record, you're a good person. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Charles.